So it's so sad that after I quietly, privately launched my YouTube channel that the first video that I make is something um, um, so tough to discuss, which is mental health. So as I'm sure many of you know about Daphne, uh, we also knew her as Shannon. She came onto WTW, I want to say, like two years, a couple years after we did, so um, maybe in 99. So we were together for a good two years professionally until March of 2001. And I, and I know she continued on after that with nonstop action several years later. But um, even though I only knew her professionally for those two short years, I just know that, you know, she was like the girl next door. She was always kind, always nice. Um, you could tell that she had tremendous respect and love for the business and the office and the talent. And, um, and it's heartbreaking to know that she obviously was suffering, not only as deeply, but for as long as she was. Um, my heart goes out to her family, and I just hope that when she reopened her eyes, she finally found herself at a place where she is accepted and loved unconditionally and um, and finally had that sense of peace that she couldn't find here. So that brings up a very um, tough topic, which is mental health issues. So as you know, when somebody is physically ill, it's so easy to tell because either they have a limp or they have a cast or brace or bandage, you know, it just, it's clearly obvious that they are physically um, injured. But with mental health, you know, just think of like Robin Williams. I mean, that was like my biggest, like mind blown moment. Like, okay, Robin Williams of all people, I would have never thought that he was battling such demon. And let's just, gosh, let's be kind to each other. And also most importantly, be kind to yourselves. Um, you know, Shannon also um, shared someone's post on her Instagram account, and it talks about um, being estranged from abusive parents. And sometimes you long for your mom, but really, and then realizing that the idea that you were um, longing for the idea of a mom, not so much the mom that you had. So two folds. One, you guys, for those of you who are parents, aunts and uncles and grandparents, it is so imperative that we, um, we nurture and we show like unconditional love and acceptance to our kids. Um, it's, you know, and I say it in myself, like, you know, I have, I have three kids and and sometimes I, forget, sometimes I feel like I'm talking to a grown person who should have known better, but they're not. They're still developing and they're still learning. And, and most importantly, the biggest thing we can give is grace and love. Um, and that even goes into adulthood. Why are we so hard on ourselves? I'm hard on myself, you know, with this Kickstarter campaign that I'm doing. The first few days, it was... I was drowning in like self-worthlessness because I had this romantic idea of what Kickstarter was. Kind of like a first time parent, right? You don't really know, nothing can prepare you. You read your books and you take lessons on how to change diapers and how to be a mom, how to be a dad. But everything that comes with it, when it actually happens, that's when you learn. So even with Kickstarter, I was, only looking at this, um, the, the good end, the, you know, the positive side of it. And, um, and I've learned more within last week about Kickstarter than I ever did reading a book. So um, I tied myself, you know, I expected it to be, um, to go a certain way within the first week or so, and it didn't. And, um, and I tied my self-worth to the success of the project. And let me tell you, I, it was tough. 
I, it's like I felt I was drowning in my own despair. And I had to just sit back and disconnect and said, okay, why am I feeling this way? Why am I triggered of this self-worthlessness feeling? Um, but really, give yourself a break. Um, find comfort really in knowing that we're all going through the same inner dialogue that same doubt that that we go through, that you go through, sometimes even on a daily basis. So um, this, starting this Sunday to next Saturday, is Suicide Awareness Week. Um, let's focus. Let's um, be very conscious to, to um, reach out to those. I mean, even strangers. On a daily basis and just say something or at least give them a smile or say something to um, not only make them feel good it's not about um, um, it doesn't even have to be grandiose's um, compliment but just acknowledging them that hey I see you you know and and there is this one um, checkout person at our local grocery store she's so engaging she asks how you are and she genuinely makes eye contact you know and you're in a rush and you just want to get to um you know do your shopping and so that way you can go pick up your kids at school but she really makes me pause and just appreciate her appreciation that you're there um really it starts with the simplest things so starting the fifth this Sunday to Saturday 9-11 and then beyond but let's take this this um, week to just really be kind and make sure that others know that you see them and that they are um, that they are worth it you know, and that they're, they're um, enough.